Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I want to show a really cool uh, tool to manage your containers that I recently discovered. It's called and it's called Portainer. And this is an open source thing that is like essentially a web application that allow you to manage your container, especially the local one when when you have your when you're testing your containers, when you're spinning up all our containers and you want to manage them in, in, in your own environment. This this tool is really, really powerful. So how about we actually show this tool a little bit and uh, then show you how to actually spin it. It's just another container. You can spin it up and it shows you how many containers you have, how many volumes. This is, I always get this, right? Because I spin up my containers without actually persistent volumes. So I'll end up with a lot of just unused volumes that I have no idea about. And this uh, this tool actually helped me clean up my disk and remove unwanted images or unwanted containers and all that stuff. So <laughs> look at this. I have like 93 containers and and this tool allow you to like select all and you can stop all the containers or you can just kill it or permanently just remove all the containers and uh, you can see these like uh, these random names that uh, docker contains the moment you see this that means this is a container that has is been up without maybe an automated container right so yeah, i have like 10 pages worth, worth of these things so uh, how about we actually show you how uh, this you can spin up this tool uh, in order to manage your own local Docker instance, guys. All right, guys, so to spin up a Portainer container, all you need to do, obviously, you need to have Docker. And when you have Docker, you would do Docker run, and then you specify a name for this. Uh, I'm going to call it just Portainer. And then you specify the port, and the default port is uh, 9000, and you can just expose that port uh, to your host machine just like that, right? And again, this could be, it has to be 9000, this could be anything you want, right? And we're gonna spin up that. Here's the last part that you have to do. If you are on a Mac, you have to paste this command, which is dash V, and uh, mount the Docker network to the Docker network so you allow the Portainer to actually manage your container. So this will give access for Portainer to actually manage your Docker instance that is local, right? Because that's the Docker uh, command that we have in, in my machine. And that's the command for Linux or Mac. If you have Windows, you this is the command to use, right? Dash V dash dash dot pipe Docker engine and you give access to your uh, the the portainer container to manage your Docker instance. Since I have Mac, I am going to use this mount my volume. So I'm going to provide both the commands for you guys down in the description below. So you can just copy and paste, right? And then finally, you do portainer slash portainer, right? And then you run. And that's it. Just like that, we're going to spin up now a web server that will host that uh, portainer instance, uh, portainer uh, instance that will allow us to manage our stuff. So all we have to do is go to localhost 9000. And now we will be represented by this, right? You're going to say, okay, go ahead and create your password and username for the first time. You're going to create your user. And then here's the thing. You can manage a remote Docker environment if you enabled Docker remote. So I'm going to make another video discussing how to expose the Docker API over TCP and uh, essentially manage this. And once you expose that, you can manage that. There is other ways as well using an agent or maybe Microsoft Azure. But this is what we're interested in. We're, we're going to do the local, uh, the local instance. And again, guys, that's exactly if you ever forgot those commands you can just do that this is exactly how i got them and then when you hit connect immediately it will detect your environment and you can now manage your instances right and you can click here uh, you can uh, view your images right look at all the images i have and it, it, it will tell you hey this image is never used so i can safely i don't know what this image even is if i click on that it just doesn't even tell me what the hell is this as this I've been using Docker for maybe three years on this laptop, so I have no idea what what's on my machine, right? So let's get, uh, yeah. So probably it's safer to delete those, right? So you can just do this, and you can hit remove, and it will clean up your uh, unused images. Same thing with the containers, right? You can stop containers, you can run containers. For example, I have here PG Admin running. And it even tells you what port it is running to. 
even it isn't that cool, right? So I know that PG admin is running on port 5555 in this case, and it's mapping port 80. So if I do like a local host 5555, right, it will tell you, hey, this is PG admin, right? So if you ever forgot, right, where is your uh, where your containers are running this is a pretty cool right because i i don't I, sometimes i forget like oh, where did i run? what port did i expose this thing in so this is actually pretty cool uh you can see that i have so many other stuff here so many garbage when i tested my websocket videos i spin up uh websocket instances like there is no more here's a mongodb that i spun up actually i stopped it uh, i might actually go ahead and start this because i'm gonna use it later <laughs> Uh, to make another video about mongo but look at this pg the postgres instance i'm using port 5432 so you can you can tell so this is a pretty cool interface guys you can bash into the container if you'd like to like uh, go ahead and just connect to the actual container even how cool is this guys you can run commands like you can write commands like psql postgres postgres i think that's my way to yeah, look at that I, i'm connected to the postgres instance and i can execute commands right here right so this is pretty cool guys right so you can just manage your containers and uh i i just love it i don't know so that's why i, sh I, I thought i'm gonna share some love and it's written in uh, because it's an obviously a web application, I, that's what I expected. The 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 front end is must be JavaScript and HTML because most of the stuff. But there must be some sort of a back end. The back end is in Go, right? And a little bit of a shell and uh, CSS, obviously. All right, guys, uh, check this application out if you're interested. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Uh, you guys stay awesome.